Guilty, a word longtime Congresswoman Corrine Brown, former Congresswoman Corrine Brown, swore she would never utter. Well, today, the veteran lawmaker admitted guilt to a single felony in her years long federal corruption case. The former Congresswoman was facing retrial in September after her original conviction was overturned on appeal last May. Today's plea ends the case without additional additional prison time for the 75 year old former lawmaker. It also allows Brown to keep her congressional pension on your sides. Ann Schindler was in the courtroom when the sentence was handed down. She joins us tonight outside the federal courthouse. Well, Corinne Brown spoke clearly and calmly today when the judge asked her to state her plea. She said she was pleading guilty because she was, in fact, guilty. But it was a remarkable turnaround for a woman who has long claimed that the case against her was a witch hunt. About 15 of her staunchest supporters were in court today, including State Senator Audrey Gibson and Urban League President Richard Danford. As part of the plea deal, Brown was sentenced to time served, which is about two years and eight months, and that included a short period of house arrest. She's also agreed to pay an additional $62,000 to the IRS on top of the $31,000 she's already paid for a total of more than $93,000. Judge Timothy Corrigan said Brown, quote, unfortunately succumbed to a greed and entitlement mentality, adding that it was ironic that she, quote, helped write the tax laws she expected others to follow, but which she decided did not apply to her. Although Brown has long insisted she would never carry the label felon, she said after court today that she was glad just to get the case behind her. I wanted to put it behind me and move forward. So many people, you know, I got calls yesterday from Orlando, Gainesville, Tallahassee. People were concerned about me going through the process and they wanted it over. So it's over. Now, before Brown entered her guilty plea, prosecutors today laid out the case that they say they could have proven if this case had gone to trial. That included years of tax fraud, overstated charitable donations, and even faked letters from local nonprofits that she used to help carry out the fraud. You can read the details of that charge that she pled guilty to on our website with this story. At the federal courthouse, Ann Schindler, First Coast News, on your side.